This is a simple foam rolling routine that you can do to do some self myofascial release. This is a great way to not only add to your stretching routine, but to alleviate any aches or pains, help you increase your mobility, and make sure that you're getting some fluid motion in those muscles either before or after a workout. I recommend this as a daily bonus, as some of you know, quite often as a way to prep and prime your body for the day or finish your day to make sure that everything is moving well. So I will start. Simple foam roller. I prefer one that doesn't have ribbing. And I like to start on the back. So I support my neck here, tuck the ribs under, and basically roll from the top of my shoulder blades all the way down to my lower back. One of the things that you want to notice is that I'm not flaring at the ribs. You're tucking the ribs and engaging that girdle and rolling all the way up and down. So I usually do this about four or five times just to prime my back and you're gonna notice that there are some spots that might be tighter than others. So once you've kind of warmed up and primed up and down from your shoulders all the way down to your lower back, you can just find some spots that are maybe feeling a little bit tight. And one of the nice things is a foam roller, you can find the pressure points that you can target where you might have an ache or pain. So I usually start with back, and then I like to move on to lats. So this usually comes from, again, from your shoulder area down to your lower rib cage, and you just can kind of play here with where it feels good. And again, I kind of prime it a couple times. You can use this foot either forward or behind to kind of support you to manage how much weight or pressure that you're putting on those lats. And again, you can kind of land where that feels tight for you, and then release it there. Then I like to move on to my glutes. So I sit directly on the foam roller here. I'll turn towards you so you can see what I'm doing. So I usually start with crossing one leg over the other. Depending on your mobility in your hips, you can bring yourself here and then lean onto the side where your knee is bent. What this will do, this will facilitate to open up the glutes so that you can roll. Let me show you this one. Roll from the top of the glute here, all the way from the top to the bottom. And then you can kind of play around by angling yourself one way or another so that you can get in those glutes and roll out the piriformis. And same kind of thing, wherever you're feeling some extra tightness, you want to kind of land there for 10, 15 seconds, and then move on. Then I like to move on to kind of my IT band, starting pretty high, so higher than you might think, kind of to carry on from the belly of that glute, landing here, and then I go all the way from glute to knee. Right, so same thing, I prime this area, again using this for how much pressure you put on, rolling all the way up and down, and just a reminder, I'm just showing you this side, but you want to mimic every single exercise on the other side. So I'm rolling back and forth, and then again, landing where you feel any tension. So ideally, you want to be able to move from here, all the way to here, pause, hold, back and forth. And I like to finish the movement with just kind of rolling right throughout. Then I typically roll right onto my dummy so that I can access the front of my quads. I'm in this lower plank position on my elbows. Again, it might be hard to see, but you're tucking those ribs under so you're not flaring. And I typically start from the knees, roll all the way out. And then you can see, I don't know if you can see in the video, but you can turn your toes inwards to hit different parts of the quad and turn it outwards again to hit different parts. If you find that's not enough, you can always go into either pigeon, depending on your mobility, or not. It allows you a greater access, and then you can even get into your inner thighs. This is a really good one if you do go into pigeon, and because you have your up a little bit, even if you don't have the mobility in the hips, oftentimes, even guys can access this point. Good? So again, right from the knee all the way in, 
finding wherever you find some adhesions and tightness, some spots that maybe are a little sore that you want to land into. Then I flip over onto my back so I can do my hamstrings. So again, starting from the base of the glutes all the way to the knee. So one of the things, sometimes it doesn't feel like enough. Sometimes it's enough to warm up, but if you need a little bit more tension, you can always cross, I'll show you this way, one leg over the other. What this does provides a little bit more pressure in those areas. Just be gentle around the knee. The back of the knee is a little bit more tender and you don't want to be putting a lot, a lot of pressure. So just till it feels like where it's going to start the insertion point of that hamstring, roll yourself all the way up and down. Then I like to finish for myself on my pads. So you're going to find the same thing doesn't have enough pressure often to do them both at the same time. So crisscross, applesauce, as my daughter would say, right? Bring yourself back and forth, again, finding the adhesions, and kind of like I said before, turning those toes inwards will access the inner medial side of those muscles, outwards, access the outside. So that's basically it for the body. One of the bonuses that I like to do is flipping over almost in a tabletop position, getting on your forearms and kind of rolling out. This is actually a really good uh, way to increase your mobility for your shoulders, but it really helps facilitate a good stretch. It's not so much a foam rolling per se for the muscle, but it can really help you with the shoulder mobility. So again, forearms, bring it all the way above your head, try to drop your head through. And then if you'd like, you can go to your elbows and do the same thing. I hope that's helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions at all and I hope you start incorporating this foam rolling routine in your day-to-day -day life. Bye for now.